But I know personally, personally, that I've had to defuse two situations, one with the coach and one with the NBA player. They wanted to skip up. Personally, I've had to do it. One was this year, one was last year. But personally, I had to hit, reach out to Unc and, and set up a conversation for people who wanted to skip up. In today's video, we got Matt Barnes talking about the Skip and Shannon situation after Shannon Sharp came back to the show. And things didn't start off right because Skip Bayless brutally interrupted Shannon Sharp. Matt Barnes went on Instagram, and this is what he had to say. Let's check it out. Top of the morning, top of the morning. Uh, I haven't really spoke on this uh, Skip Bayless situation because I wanted to see if he had any remorse um, after what he said Monday. And, you know, obviously what he said. First of all, Skip is a, a professional in this in this realm was very highly respected and it's put in years of work so you know when people say you know read the whole tweet he said the game was irrelevant he knew he had to put that at the end of the bullshit he was saying hoping that we didn't see through the bullshit because how he truly felt was his original first sentence that how can they even cancel us there's too much of them that's how he really felt but he's very intelligent and he knew that if he put you know somehow this game seems irrelevant now that some people wouldn't see through his bullshit and, and and arrogance and and blatant disrespect for damar fast forward that i just feel of late he's been very 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 disrespectful and out of pocket and that's normal but he's been that way to shannon and you can see shannon bite his tongue uh, you can see him, you know, do deep breaths from not jumping across that table and wringing that man's neck. But I think Skip's day is coming. And it may not be from a, a firing standpoint because, you know, we know white men in this profession can kind of get away and do with, you know, what they want. Just is what it is. Um, and it makes good TV. Remember, controversy sells. So, of course, Fox are going to want to keep those type of ratings. But I know personally personally that i've had to defuse two situations one with the coach and one with the nba player they wanted to fuck skip up personally i've had to do it one was this year one was last year but personally i had to hit reach out to unk and and set up a conversation for people who wanted to fuck skip up but you know luckily cooler heads have prevailed but i mean i just see it, it's just gone too far in my opinion um, and again, Shannon's had a lot of love or does have a lot of love for dude, but you could even see Shannon's fed up and someone's going to end up hurting Skip because his ego, his arrogance, his disrespect has kind of always been on this level, but now it's, it, it, I think it's going to a new level and, and now he's disrespecting his co-host and, and, and Shannon and, and again, someone, you know, they've had a great working relationship over the years, but this dude Skip is all bad and, and, and he thinks that he could say and do what he wants and there isn't gonna be any repercussions. And there may not be no repercussions uh, from his job, but someone is gonna run up on Skip and hurt this man. I don't know if it's gonna be in 2023 or 2024, but it's coming. All right, guys, that's it for today's video. Like, share, comment, and subscribe. Self-talk news. I'll catch you guys on the next video. And while I have your attention already, y'all should go check out these other videos on my YouTube channel. Salute, and we out. If you made it this far in the video, don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe if you're new, and leave a comment down below.